this global pandemic that we've been going through these last couple of months have been hard for everyone. And <clears throat> A, having Tourette's on top of that makes it extra difficult and sometimes even scary. Today, I want to tell you something that happened to me right at the beginning of this whole situation. This is what it's like to live with Tourette's during a global pandemic. Hi, I'm Luca and I make weekly videos about what it's like to live with Tourette's and ADHD. So I have Tourette's and Tourette's is always there. So going in public with tics can often be very embarrassing, but usually it's just embarrassing for me and people will just laugh and you, you get used to that. But during this whole pandemic crisis thing, it became a bit darker. So it was early March, I think. It was right at the start of the pandemic here in the Netherlands. So this, this was when everybody was still pretty much in panic mode, hoarding at the supermarket, buying up all the toilet paper. That, that moment, remember that one? And I had to go buy toilet paper. I actually just ran out and I didn't want to because I was afraid I was going to look like one of those hoarders. But yeah, I mean, I was already looking at my collected works of Shakespeare. They have nice thin sheets. But my friend told me that one of the supermarkets in my city still had toilet paper. So I was just going to go. And this is not a very big supermarket. It's pretty cramped. So I don't really like going there because those types of cramped spaces already set off my ticks pretty bad and because that's just how Tourette's works because there was this virus going on I started developing a coughing tick I already had one but it became much worse it was the thing that I didn't want to do I didn't want to alarm anyone but I started to develop this coughing tick and I was really trying to hold that in I was really trying to hold in that coughing tick when I was at the supermarket because people were clearly not very comfortable even just being in the supermarket. And there were loads of people, there were not yet any restrictions on how many people could go inside. It was really full and it was just a bit much. So at some point I was somewhere in the middle of the supermarket and just people were just rushing around me and I had this coughing tick and it was a lot of coughing. It was not like a little cough, it was a full cough. And people just looked at me angry and scared. And, and this is threats. I shouted, I have Corona. Or in Dutch, ik heb Corona. And people just snapped and they gathered around me and he got really angry and I said, I'm sorry, I have Tourette's, I, I, I can't help it, I can't control what I'm saying, I don't actually have the virus, it's just a tick, you don't have to worry, I'm sorry. And But they just kept getting angrier and at first there was just two, two, three people around me, but then more people started to gather around maybe like four or five people in total, but they were getting pretty worked up. And I just felt really scared and I left without any stuff. And it was horrible. And I've never even been back to the supermarket since. And I've really struggled even just going out when I have to during this pandemic um, because I feel scared that some person might not, might not understand Tourette's or just decide that they don't want to understand Tourette's. It's such a shame. And I think that I try to be an optimistic person and believe that that person or those people just didn't understand what Tourette's was and that having a coughing tick or shouting something when you have Tourette's is not 
fake. It's not because you mean it. It's because it's a tick, it's a neurological disorder. And yeah, so that's hard. <laughs> I don't know, it's, it's been a struggle going out during these times because I know that when I'm getting nervous about something that will trigger those types of ticks. So now that people are a bit more used to the whole new normal that we're living in now, um, people are not as uptight anymore. I go to a different supermarket now. I still try to stay indoors as much as I can, but sometimes I do have to go places. Uh, I mean, I have a working life. Sometimes I have to go to the office or anything like that. And I have to go to uh, another city for that. So I go by public transport because I can't drive. And in the Netherlands, it's mandatory to wear a mouth mask in public transport at the moment, which is good. But with the threads, because I'm aware that there's something on my mouth that kind of triggers ticks. So I'll open my mouth and, and they'll slide off or I have tick to just touch everything to put my fingers in my mouth. And that might upset other people. So I just pay extra to sit first class. So I don't have a lot of people around me right now. And of course, I don't have to travel as much anymore now as I used to, so I can afford it. But of course, not every, everyone with Tourette's can do that. And I'm not the only one with Tourette's in this world right now that we're living in. So if you don't have Tourette's and you see someone having ticks right now in public, please calm down a bit. Maybe they just have a neurological disorder, maybe that's just an explanation. Don't become so aggressive. It's sad that sometimes allies of people with disabilities will have a lot of compassion for people with disabilities as long as it doesn't intervene or intrude in their lives. Like, they'll be all for rights for people with disabilities that use wheelchairs, but when it delays their train, they become really mean. I mean, maybe consider what your priorities are and just be happy that you don't have to deal with that all the time be a bit more compassionate. This is really all I wanted to talk about. I hope you're being safe. I'll be back next week with a bit more of an energetic, cheerful subject. But I really wanted to talk about this thing that happened. Um, so I hope you have a great day. Love you.